Hey, what's up everyone? It's Frankie with Meekspace.org. Today I wanted to show you how to download a video using your Apple device, your iPad or iPhone, um, using a program called Documents, or Documents 5 as it's sometimes called. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is visit the App Store, and in the top right corner you want to type in Documents 5 and hit Search. You'll notice it should come up with uh, the application called Documents 5. And if you notice in the top left corner there, it's uh, by a company called Readle, um, R-E-A-D-D-L-E. -E, and uh, you'll want to install that. It is free uh, for most of the basic features, which is really all you need. So go ahead and install that. Get that uh, going on your uh, device. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up that device. And what I would do from here is, if you're going to download movies, I would recommend right here in this directory that you make a, a, a folder called Videos. And so in the notice in the top right corner, there's an Edit. Click Edit. Then over on the bottom left corner, there's a Create. So you'll hit Create, and you notice it says New Folder at the bottom. So you'll click that and type in Videos. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it, but that's what you'll do to create a new folder. Then when you're done, in the top right corner, hit Done. You'll have your Videos folder there. Now notice on the left side at the top you have different links. You'll want to go to the one called Browser and go to JW.org. So we'll do that. We'll go to JW.org. And what we're doing is we're, whoops, not KW, but JW. And what we want to do, the reason we're using Documents to do this, because the browser that's built into Documents is a little easier to work with than Safari when it comes to downloading files and downloading uh, videos and things. And so, and then plus when you use this, it downloads right into this Document Manager. And so it's just a, a nice way of doing it. So say we wanted to download a kid's video. Um, I would go to, uh, you could either go to publications and then videos, but in this case I want to get the new one, and I happen to know that if you go to Bible teaching, and then on the left you go to children, um, we've got the one for Jehovah will help you be bold. And so what we want to do is, we want to go ahead and click on it, and if you scroll down to the bottom you'll notice there's a download link, and you can choose what uh, resolution. Now obviously if you do 240p that's going to be less resolution. It's not going to look as good but it'll still look really nice but it also doesn't use as much space on your device. I would recommend everybody use the 240p uh, just because uh, there's no reason to fill your device up uh, with the larger files. So you go ahead and click on that link. It's going to ask you to name your file. I usually recommend going ahead and naming them something that you makes more sense to you than the default. And we're going to do uh, just exactly what it uh, says up here above. If you notice, lesson 13. Jehovah will help you be bold. So there we are. We'll go ahead and hit Done, and it's going to start downloading that file for us. If you notice in the top right corner, there's a little down arrow. If you were to click that button, it's showing us that it's downloading that, and you can see the little status bar going across. So you'll just wait until that's finished. And this is a fairly short video, so and plus we're downloading the smallest size, so it shouldn't take that long to finish downloading. Now the other thing you want to make sure of is that you've got a good solid Wi-Fi connection when you're doing this so that you don't run into problems. So now I'm just going to click that little arrow again and make that go away. Over in the top left corner you see the three lines? That'll give us the navigation bar to the Documents app. So click on that 
and we want to go back to documents because that's where we downloaded this at and you notice on the right hand side there's a downloads folder if you click on that you should see the video that we just downloaded now I'm just gonna click on it just to show you that it works So we'll go ahead and stop this. In the top left corner I'm going to hit done. What I wanted to show you now is I want to move this into my videos folder. So I'm going to hit the top right link that says edit. I'm going to click on it so it puts a check mark and over on the left side I'm going to choose move and you notice there the little box comes up and it wants to it's already in the the downloads folder just hit the documents next to it and that'll take you back to the main folder now I'm gonna click on videos and I'm gonna click on I had a theocratic folder created under my videos which you could do the same thing and then I had a kids and so I'm gonna put mine under kids and I'm just gonna hit move and it, it'll move it out of that folder now you don't have anything under downloads now if we top left corner go to documents we go over to videos on the right we go into theocratic and we go into kids there's the other video that we just downloaded lesson 13 and so really friends that's how easy it is to download videos from jw.org or tv.jw.org and uh, get them on your Apple device your iPad or your iPhone just use the application Documents 5 and follow this video and you'll be up and running. Now incidentally, you can use this same method by going to browser to download your Watchtower magazines or other publications from JW.org. You can use Documents 5 to do that as well. So you could just download everything and keep them all right here in one nice little package. And so that's what I would recommend. Thanks for watching this tutorial.